All right, we got Kenny Dowdy on his way to the cage right now in this 182-pound contest. He stands at 5 feet 10 inches. He's 23 years old. Fights out of Cardo Urso Habu Pit out of Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. When I asked him, he said his style is predominantly striking. He wasn't much for giving a prediction, but when I tried to egg him on and say, are you looking for the knockout because he did classify himself as a striker? He gave me a little a little smile, so I mean, maybe that's something to see. We don't know, but uh, his record's 0-1. Kenny Doty. He said, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to knock him out. I'll do my best for you. Everyone has a plan to get punched in the face. You know, James, he reminds me a lot of Josh Key. Yes. Wow, funny you say that. I, in fact, he walked by, and I, I thought it was Josh, and I go to say hello, and he gave me a funny look. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops, my bad. But there is only one Josh Key. That's right. There is only one Manny Morales is on his way to the cage right now, 21 years old. Stands at six feet even. He represents Web Fitness MMA out of Washington Township, New Jersey. His style is BJJ and MMA, he says, and his record is one and one. Manny Morales taking on the tough Kenny Dowdy in this 182 pound contest. Yeah, Webb's got a big team of young guys. And in like four or five years, you're gonna see an army of pros coming I was out just of there. thinking, he's got a stable of young guys which is gonna become seasoned veterans yeah, in just a matter fast. of years. I mean, he's got five fighters, five or six on tonight's card yeah. alone. Building a nice stable of fighters. Yeah. And like we were talking earlier, Jonathan Webb is just, he's an amazing coach, comes from an amazing school himself. Yeah. He has the experience behind him. He's fought all over the world, UFC, you name it. Well, in, uh, uh, beyond that, he goes out of his way to set himself up with the best people to bring into camp with him, you know? Yeah. So he's been working with Daniel Gracie, he's been working with Rami, and then, you know, he's, his room is full of toughest guys every day. And you're this seeing the results out here all, all night long. Referee of this bout. 182 pounds. A 23 year old fighter who stands at 5 foot 10 and weighs 180 pounds. He seeks his first win and represents Cardo Urso's Habu Pit out of Egg Harbor Township, out of the blue corner. His opponent is a 21-year-old fighter who stands six foot tall and weighs 182 pounds. He has a one and one record and represents Web Fitness and MMA out of Washington Township, New Jersey, out of the red corner. Crowd likes Manny a lot. I couldn't tell if they were saying Manny or Kenny for a minute, but Kenny Dowdy taking on Manny Morales and in this 182 pound contest. You're gonna judge this about on physique itself. It definitely goes to Kenny Dowdy, but. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Manny's fighting up a little here. Shoots in for a double leg, gets, he walks him up to the cage. Kenny's looking pretty strong, but not doing much with that other. Beautiful oh, nice trip there by down. Manny, beautiful. Coaches are yelling, take your time, watch your posture. And he's listening. You know, the one thing that I'm seeing out of all the guys from this camp is they're all doing a great job of looking over to their coach and making the adjustments that are recommended. And the Johnman's credit, he's been telling his fighters to take their time, yeah. not rushing them, making yeah. sure they, one, get the experience, two, they're just not overexerting themselves right. too early oh, in the fight. back take, love that. Nice he sat down to his butt. That back knee yeah, up. so what he did was he, he got his legs right above the kneecap and kicked the knees away. Again, high hips here. Kenny transitions well, but only because of a slight mistake from Manny. I mean, that was kind of all Manny until that little back take miss up. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful nice one, two, two, two three. Some clean crosses and hooks there, he sprawls away. He says, ah, I'm not gonna fall for that again, let's go. Nice jab, nice long jab. And again, he clinches up. He's trying for a takedown of his own, pushes away. Kenny's finding it's, it's a little bit of rhythm here. Swing from a hook right there for Manny, covers up. Nice, nice, nice uppercut there. He's waiting for it. 
Yeah, Manny's not concerned about this striking area. He's, he's, he took what Kenny had to offer. So that's fine, deal. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, they're trading heavy yeah. leather now. Manny's, well, that's like Kenny, rather, throwing a big, big overhand. He's looking to land that here. If it lands, I don't know how it's going to go. So what you hear over the corner, you hear taking down Manny. And, and that's something that you don't want to do. You don't want to get, like, baited into a striking contest if you're the better grappler. He's really loading up that right yeah, hand. Nice leg kick from Manny. Nice feint. See what he throws with it next. Fates the uppercut. Good footwork. He's nice push back a little bit. Yeah, good jab by Kenny. He's not trying to get baited. Good. Fade away. Hands down. He better keep his hands up, though. Yeah, but he's not He's not that much better that his hand should be down. Exactly. You know? He landed a couple clean shots, and that, 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 that confidence could backfire on him. Dowdy just ate a right hand himself, but yeah. delivered a right hand. Yeah, he stepped in with another long one-two, liver shot Nice there. kick to the body. Big another clean nice shot. Nice straight right oh, hands, and, and Penny Dowdy and rocks him. Right yeah. and, and but the referee the right. has came yeah. in to stop this bout. Kenny Dowdy wins this fight. Yeah, and you know, Kenny, I'm sorry when I said you should have kept your hands up. I guess you knew something I didn't, okay? But, you know, still good performance from Manny. It just, uh, it seemed, again, he kind of got baited into the striking contest. And Kenny just had his number there today. And as an amateur fight, you know, they, they stop it pretty quick. They, they stop these it. Guys just keep the heart going. Yeah, no, and I really, oh, and I really think that in a, in a pro fight, Manny would have been fine to continue going. But who knows if Kenny would have kept throwing big punches, you know? They do stop the fights very quickly in amateur. But it's really for our safety, for their safety. We're not, no one's getting paid here. You know, no one's getting a belt. Wait a minute, no one's getting paid here. Ha! None of these that guys. Was nice, that was nice knockout. Yeah, it was very, very clean, very clean shot. And it's tough because it was a fight that was going really well for, for Manny early on. He had the back, or he jumped for the back. He was doing very well in the wrestling. It's a learning, a learning thing here, that's all. Absolutely. I want to see him again. Let's throw it up to Steve Peacock, our ring announcer. This bout is stopped two minutes and 32 seconds into the first round. The winner by TKO came out of the blue corner, Kenny Dowdy! All right, Kenny, stick around for your post-fight interview right behind you with Adam Chris. All right, I'm here with your winner, Kenny Dowdy. Kenny, before we talk, before the bout, you said you didn't have a prediction going into it. Now that it's said and done, your Chris striking got it done. Was that a part of your game plan? Tell us how you're feeling. Uh, yeah, I feel most comfortable standing on my feet. So, let's put it to use. So with the Chris striking clinic like that, how do you feel going against such a seasoned vet and such a seasoned camp against that? How are you feeling? Uh, it's definitely confidence building. I had a tough, tough loss in my first fight. It's a nice way to bounce back. All right, let's hear it for your winner, Kenny Dowdy! The second pretty good performance out of that gym, the Cardi Oso Happy Pit. It's nice to see, there's a few new gyms that yeah. uh, have a nice uh, group of fighters here tonight, and I think that's good for the local uh, New Jersey MMA scene for sure.